I'm Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters I'm going to show you how to put special characters into your YouTube descriptions. Now you may have in the past wanted to put a copyright symbol or a heart or a diamond or a smiley face or some other special character into your YouTube description and you might not have known how to. So I'm going to show you how to do it right here. First of all there's a site called alt-codes.net that shows you what the special characters that are available are. Uh, I'll put that in the description of this video so you can find the uh, site easily. Now there are a bunch of different characters and the nice thing about this site is it kind of sorts them into different areas like for instance musical notes, uh, uh, registered trademark, uh, copyright alt code, uh, like if we go to copy, copyright alt code right here it brings up the copyright the number code for that's going to be 0169 for example. So we'll tell us what those codes are. Now you may have to experiment with these a little bit depending on what character you're using because there's the standard ASCII set and there's a extended ASCII codes and uh, not all programs support all of the codes. For example uh, Notepad doesn't support uh, sharps, flats, and naturals, which are musical notations, uh, but WordPad does. Uh, for some reason, WordPad does not support uh, heart, but Notepad does. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's uh, try the copyright. It's going to be 0169. So what we do is we're going to open up WordPad. And I'm going to hold down the Alt key. Now I have the number locks on on the number pad and I'm going to go 0169 and I'm going to release it and it puts a copyright notice up there. So if we wanted to put that in our YouTube description we just highlight it and we could write out the copyright. Uh, let's uh, Let's do it. Copyright 2013 Mungo Dark Manor. And we could uh, highlight all that and copy it. And uh, we could go over to our YouTube description. And we can uh, paste it in there and it shows up with a copyright symbol in there. So we can do that with any character that we can find using uh, the alt codes that we can find on this web page. Another way we can do it is using a program called Character Map. In Character Map uh, you can find that on Windows 7 and before under uh, Programs, Accessories, uh, System Tools. In Windows 8 you actually go and you can do a little search for it and you can go character map and you have it right up appears right up here and we'll open it up. So character map is going to look like this whether you have Windows 8 or 7 or before. Uh, it's basically the same program they've been using for years. Now uh, if we wanted to do a copyright in here we can we can scroll through all these characters and try to find it or we can actually go down here and we can go uh, copyright, do a search for it, and it actually brings it up up here. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go select, and it puts it in this uh, puts it in this little text box here. We click on copy, and if we go over back to WordPad, let me get rid of that. And if I hit Control V, it pops up in WordPad again. You enlarge that a little bit. So that's how we could find it in the character map application. So that's uh, if you have trouble hitting the alt key and getting the code to appear, that's another way you can do it. Uh, it's a little bit easier, I think, to find some of these characters on this website because, uh, like I said, they have over here on the right side, they have, uh, like for instance, the smiley alt codes and uh, other alt codes 
are available on the side there so it makes it a le little easier to find certain codes so I'll put that in the description of this video so you can look at that and uh, at any rate that's how you do special codes in um, YouTube descriptions or you can do it in other descriptions on other web pages uh, or in other applications as well. I'm Mungo Dark Matter and this has been Dark Matters and whatever you do enjoy technology.